Good morning, it's Evelyn. It's the 27th of October and it's the Luton Half Marathon. It'll be the fourth time me running it. And it's like a anniversary race for me because it's the first race or first half marathon I did when I came back from Canada. And so four years on, can you believe it? Um, back to do another one. It's the first time, I can't remember exactly what time I did it in, but it was over two hours, definitely like two hours 40 or something like that. Fastest, one hour 57. So let's see what I do. Definitely in between there, but I think I'm on two, 210 form. My park run yesterday was amazingly 29 minutes and 29 seconds, the official time, which I have not done sub 30 minutes for park run for a good few months since June. So hopefully that bodes well for today. Um, let's see how it goes. So um, it's about, clocks went back last night, so my clock says 8.30, but it's now 7.30. So I'm due to leave around 10 to 8. It's at Stockwood Park, which is just around the corner from me. It's about 3K, so I think I could do a bit of a fast walk or a light jog once I get up the hill. <laughs> and that's here. Uh, there's gonna be a few hills on this course, so I don't wanna exhaust myself too much by running up it, so I'll probably do a walk up and then probably jog the rest of the way. Um, Sopsy Striders in force today because it's our home race really, Luton Town is our uh, base. So we'll have a few, fair few Sopsy Striders running today. And there's a 10K race as well as a half marathon. So looking forward to it. I'm always looking forward to this one every year. Um, I think compared to this time last year, I feel a slightly fitter because I was getting going downhill in my fitness since I reached my goal in 2017, my weight loss goal. I sort of went off the keto diet and I kept fluctuating between having carbs, low carbs, keto. So in that I'm always constantly trying to get out or into the fat adaption stage which is not good for my body or my system. So I think I'm actually low carb at the moment, not keto properly, so I'm hoping that will be okay. I'm still not gonna have anything to eat during the course. I'm gonna have my black coffee. I'll take my can of uh, fake Red Bull with me, sugar-free, and have that whilst I'm there, just before the race. Um, yeah, but I'm looking forward to it. See you on the other side, see you later. <laughs> Can you see how steep this hill is? I'm not sure you can. Hopefully you can tell. Good morning again. I finally left. It's now 10 past eight and I'm walking up that hill I was saying. You know, I said I had fake Red Bull. It's not fake. <laughs> it's actually the orange flavor. But it's sugar free. I thought it was fake because it wasn't in the standard blue can. And sometimes I pick up the sugar free other alternatives and it's they look similar. So there's one called Tiger something or other, which is quite good. And as I don't have anything during the race, I think it's good for me to have something at the beginning. So I've had my coffee. Went to the loo again before I left. The race is about, I think the half starts at quarter past nine. So we're doing our Stopsy Striders pictures at, I think it said between 8.30 and 8.45. So even if I walk all the way, I'll be there by 8.30. It's not too bad. You can see. Let me, Hopefully you can see that. Where I've just walked from. Oh, oh magpies. And there's two. Does that mean good luck? Hopefully you can see them. <laughs> oh, I always say the magpie, you don't see two together. So it's nice to see them actually together. 
oh it is very chilly it's about i think it was said four degrees on my phone so walking is okay you can tell i'm going off the hill country i'm out of breath so walking is okay obviously running will be perfect but standing around is going to be ugh, cold and it's not um it doesn't finish at the same place and um it's finishing off in the town center my arm's dying to it it's finishing off in the town center and that's just a mile away from me so i don't really have to worry too much i can run home if i can fit, fit i'm up to it and even if i walk home i'll be all right so i don't think there was any point in me bringing anything to throw away so i just have to join in any warm-ups that go on last year there was a fun dance warm-up and i think i did the wrong one <laughs> so yeah nearly at the top of the hill nearly at the top lovely blue sky so hopefully this will be a good one and not a repeat of my royal parks half see you later i forgot to start it <laughs> took it up just entering luton here now oh. Lots of the hills. Just left. I'm nearly 12k and I'm at 1 11. Not bad. So I'm over halfway now. Now we're entering the town. Bits of hopefully a bit more crowds. Because you passed the finish. And then um oh, so over halfway. Feeling good. And, uh, just changed to 20k. So I can walk for a little bit. Oh, this is hard work. And the sun is right in your eyes as well. But anyway, the last water station was bottled, so I ran through it. I'll just, just get to 20k, walk a bit, and then run to the finish. Oh, tired, but definitely felt better than Royal Parks. It's 2.02, so should be there under 10 minutes. 210 hoping 212 max but on par with GNR and the other one St Albans see you, see you at the finish <laughs> <laughs> 